must admit, while Rochelle's School of Beauty was a constant buzz of activity and attention, I welcomed the change of pace with dear Miss Clara. Life was definitely more quiet, but not without activity. I attended my fair share of senior socials, plays, grocery shopping, and every once in a while, a delightful visit to Rochelle for a friendly hello, chit-chat, and just a little sprucing up for me. On a quiet day, if I wasn't on Miss Clara's wig stand taking a short-lived break, then I would most certainly be present at her dinner parties or afternoon teas with her close friends and family. Speaking of family, she was very close to her only granddaughter, Raven, who looked forward to the time they spent together on some weekends or during Raven's breaks for spring or summer. Fall rolled in. Raven and Miss Clara enjoyed walking on the crisp leaves, going to the pumpkin patch, and taking in the fresh air and lovely weather. I enjoyed it myself. How refreshing it was. A delightful experience indeed. This year, Raven had some exciting news. She was invited to her first Halloween costume party. There was so much to plan. What would she wear? How would she be made up? She wanted a costume that would stand out, be fun to wear, and would reflect her personality. Fun, brave, kind, yet strong. Miss Clara said she was at a loss for ideas, but would be happy to help make her outfit for whatever she decided, as sewing was one of her many hobbies. With just under two weeks left before the party, Raven decided on her costume character during one of our brisk autumn walks. She said, Grandma, I've got it! Wonder Woman! Or, in my case, Wonder Girl! I'll show you a picture, Grandma Clara, and perhaps we can make some adjustments for me? Sounds great, darling, Clara said. I think Wonder Girl describes you perfectly. We can go shopping for fabric, accessories, then we can easily figure out hair and makeup later. How exciting! There was so much to do. The week was quite busy. We went shopping for fabric, earrings, boots. Then there was designing, sewing, measuring, and fittings. I could hardly wait to see what the finished product would look like. Turns out, the wait was well worth it. After all the work Miss Clara put in, Raven's final fitting was complete. She was thrilled. It was clear that her expectations were exceeded. It's all downhill from here. Hair, makeup, and you're all set, said Miss Clara. As a matter of fact, I know just the person to help with that. Off we went to Rochelle's, a field trip we were all looking forward to. Miss Clara and I were excited to visit Rochelle and the school, and Raven was simply ecstatic to get her makeup professionally done. Rochelle was equally thrilled to see us all and to meet and get Raven ready. This, after all, was her specialty, and she did not disappoint. The transformation was mesmerizing. Just here to go, and the look would be complete. Raven decided that a bright auburn color would be perfect, but she didn't want to alter her own hair. She decided that a wig in that color would be the quickest way to go. She said, what if I could get a wig like Grandma's in that color? Easier said than done, sweetie, Rochelle said. Grandma's wig is one of a kind, and I don't think we'll have the time to wig hunt in just a few hours till your party, unless... Then she paused. Unless what? Miss Clara and Raven asked in unison. 
I already knew, and I think they did too, by the looks on their faces. Uh Uh-oh, here we go. Or should I say, I go again. Rochelle said, It would be totally up to you, because I know how much you love your wig, Miss Clara. But, let's just say, if I had to, I could totally have her colored and styled in time. Raven squealed, Really? Oh, Grandma, please! And held her breath. Miss Clara gave it some thought. Raven had never worn a wig before. But then again, it was just for an evening. She would get it right back. And how could she say no to her precious granddaughter? She said, Okay, dear. I do love this wig, but I love you more. Just promise me that you'll take care of it this evening. Just have a great time. You're surely going to slay at that party. Did I get that right? Raven pretended to be embarrassed. Oh, Grandma, no one says that. (laughs) She secretly found it amusing when Miss Clara tried to be hip by sometimes inserting whatever she considered current or trendy slang into their conversations. Raven gave Miss Clara the biggest hug. Then lickety-split, I was auburn, styled, and off to my first costume party.